The Voice Season 24 Knockouts is winding up with the survival of only a few talented artists with a twist that raises the stakes even more for participated artists. This episode was packed with twists and turns and save and steals. In fact, a whopping five steals were used by the night's end, and during the most dramatic knockout, which coach Niall Horan declared the best he'd ever seen on The Voice any season till now. In the next second knockout of Team Reba, McIntyre paired up three stunning contenders who have winning capability went head to head. Ruby Lee who received four chairs turned during her blind against the most electrifying and powerful vocal singer Ms. Monet and soulful singer Rochelle Nguyen. Keep watching the video to know about your favorite artist who made it through the playoffs or left for home. Mention your favorite contestant in the comment section and don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the FMTP TV channel. Ruby Lee hit the stage with one of her favorite beautiful renditions of Leanne Rhymes' Blue and blown away all coaches during her knockout performance. For Leanne Rhymes, Blue may be a song about heartbreak, pain, or grief, but for Team Reba McIntyre winning contender Ruby Lee, it's a winning of golden ticket to the playoffs on The Voice Season 24. Ruby Lee disclosed the fact that she recorded this beautiful cover when she was just 11 year old, the judge's favorite contestant Ruby from Missouri perfectly ruled the stage Monday night, November 13, with squealing, prickling cover of the miserable classic that originally Rhymes recorded at the age of 11. Sixteen-year-old Missouri singer Ruby Lee explained before her knockout performance, This song shows off my yodeling, but it shows I can also sing high and low. I was eleven when I learned the song. I'm like, if she was eleven, I can do it. I have to try it. Do you think Ruby Lee could win The Voice Season 24? If yes, then click the subscribe button, and if not, then click the like button of FMTP TV channel. During rehearsal The Voice Season 24 mega mentor Winona Judd was so impressed of Ruby Lee singing skills, she resembled Ruby Lee the young emerging artist to country legend, Patsy Cline. Mega mentor explained, something there is very spectacular and amazing, and I think she's got such a future, she's unique and brilliant in a way that country music needs. Coach Reba McIntyre supervised Ruby only to, get in character, and try your best to convey the song's sole message of heartfelt grief. Specifically, don't do anything that makes us think that you're happy. McIntyre wasn't kidding. But she was serious about the real message projection of the song. Mega mentor Winona Judd also advised the young emerging musician Ruby Lee, make sure that your low notes are just as healthy and impressive as your high ones. In the three-way knockout Ruby Lee slightly blemished against the immaculate talents of powerful, excellent pitch-perfect, artist Ms. Monet, who performed The Best of My Love by The Emotions, and Rachel Nguyen, who sang Die From a Broken Heart by Maddie and Tay.
Niall Horan expressed his thoughts once Reba's team this stunning knockout all three performances had come to an end. Ruby, you are on a different planet, he further added. It's amazing what you do with your voice and the power that comes out of it. John Legend explained as he was astonished at Lee's unbelievable skills, it's like you're from another planet. I don't get how at 16, your voice has this power and roundness. You're so perfect for Team Reba on her first season on The Voice. You guys were a match made in heaven, he concluded. Reba admitted, Ruby reminds me of old country music. We need that tone, that yodel, that country feel. You took all the notes that Winona and I gave you and you used them. Do you think McIntyre chose Ruby Lee as the winner of this knockout? Yes, you are right, the winner of this knockout is Ruby Lee, if your guess is correct then press subscribe button, and if your guess was incorrect then press the like button, of FMTP TV channel. Rochelle, who is just 17 year old, pop singer by trade decided to hit the stage with a country crossover for her knockout round, focusing on the soft, ballad-worthy tone of her voice, doing an unexpectedly charming and winsome version of Maddie and Tay's Die From a Broken Heart that declared she had the potential to be McIntyre's most versatile team member. For Nguyen, who tends to sing with her eyes closed, she emphasized expressiveness and keeping her eyes open to connect with audience members. Rachel who performed Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis during her blinds and impressed only country legend Reba McIntyre to turn her chair. During the battle round McIntyre chose Rochelle to go head-to-head -head against Mac Royals and she emerged as winner of that duo round. Do you think Rachel could win this knockout round? No, she sanded home after losing her knockout against Ruby Lee and Ms. Monet, before moving ahead just spare a few seconds to hit the like button and don't forget to comment on the video and subscribe to the FMTP TV channel. Reba McIntyre was blown away by Rochelle's growth and versatile skills of performing different genres, called her a little sponge. While the ultra-skilled country singer Ruby Lee and powerhouse Ms. Monet stayed very much in their manipulative folk and soul R&B styles. It was a difficult attempt for Rochelle to flourish the same power, but they got standing ovations from all of the coaches with unexpected positive feedback. 17-year-old Rochelle, a school student, a pop singer by trade who lost her knockout against undeniable skilled singer Ruby Lee and powerhouse Ms. Monet. But she is the fan's favorite and outside of the show she has bright musical career awaits. Rochelle's parents first discovered she could sing when she was just two year old, when they noticed her singing ability when she was singing along to the Vietnamese music her dad used to play in the car. Rochelle participated in a Vietnamese singing competition show when she was just nine year old. She became a well-known child singing star in the community. This singing talent show enhanced and shined her singing capability and since she starts performing for the people. Rochelle has limitless love for singing, but she also loves to play different instruments, especially playing piano. To represent and keep alive Vietnamese culture in America by learning to speak, read, write and perform in Vietnamese with help of her grandma. She can't wait to represent her Vietnamese culture on the talent show and inspire other upcoming new young Vietnamese girls to step up and utilize their skills.
Although she lost her knockout, once she had won her battle against four chairs turn Mac Royal, even judges didn't appreciate her singing skills during audition round except Reba McIntyre. Gwen Stefani objected, for the style of singing that you were doing with runs and all that, kind of more R&B-ish kind of lane, I think when you do runs like that, you have to like map it out and you've gotta be clear, like, on when you're going to do them. She then added, I think that's just something that's gonna come with time. Niall Horan apologized to Rochelle for not turning his chair during her blinds as he explained, it did make me really excited to hear what you'll sound like when you mature into your voice. I'm very sorry that I didn't turn. Reba McIntyre compared Rochelle to one of her young horses, praising, sometimes you get a horse that is so good, young, and you can't wait for that all to blossom, and you get to be a part of that journey. She further added, that's what I'm looking forward to. McIntyre admitted, we're gonna have a blast, and welcome to Reba team. A.S. Reba believed that Rochelle would, grow on the show. She predicted, you know, she's young, but you see the possibilities and the talent. Rochelle proved her judge and mentor McIntyre prediction of the singing skills and versality she has at such a young age. Do you think Rochelle deserves to stay on the show? Comment and don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the FMTP TV channel. Fifty-one-year-old diva Ms. Monet is the oldest singer in the competition, went up against two of The Voice season 24 youngest singers, 16-year-old Lee and 17-year-old Nguyen in her knockout round, engulfing 1977 R&B classic emotions, Best of My Love. She stunned all coaches with her powerful vocals especially blown away Niall Horan, who complimented her by saying, perfection, again. John complimented, tour de force, Ms. Monet played safely during her knockout by choosing the old-fashioned song and just modernizing its tune to impress all coaches especially Niall Horan, who regret having no steel left to protect her from elimination. But later it was revealed that a new feature Super Saved introduced for the first time on The Voice Season 24 who gives the power to coaches to save only one eliminated knockout singer from their favorite singer to any team. In this way four contestants are stolen, four are saved and four artists are super saved by all coaches during knockout round. Do you think Ms. Monet could stay on the show after the knockout round? Yes, you are right because she was super saved by coach Reba McIntyre using a new feature Super Save Power introduced in The Voice Season 24. Before moving ahead just spare a few seconds to like, share, comment on the video and subscribe to the FMTP TV channel. Ms. Monet disclosed to coach Reba McIntyre during rehearsal that she picked for her knockout, Best of My Love, because this song will project my personality in pleasant way and will be expressed that who I am, and you can't help but smile when you sing it. Pittsburgh, California resident and a professional backup singer Ms. Monet, revealed during her interview, I sing gospel and R&B and pop. This song is a representation of who I am as an artist. She also disclosed the truth, that her mother had been an incredible singer, she further explained that her mother had gotten a record deal when she was just 19 year old, but Ms. Monet maternal grandfather wouldn't allow her mother to pursue her career because she didn't sing gospel. So, she lives her dreams of musician through me, Ms. Monet admitted that. My mother allowed me to be the artist and the person that I am. That's why I haven't given up. Coach Reba McIntyre explained before her performance, Ms. Monet is a powerhouse, and I think she picked a great song, she further added. She knows how to command attention. Mega mentor Winona Judd, appreciate and praised her, stunning powerful vocal ability, admitted, she's seasoned, and I connected with her, 
because I think as we get older as women, we think maybe are we not as relevant. But I think this could be her time. She stunned the coaches with her powerful vocal range by delivering some unexpected deep growling runs and injected an unbelievable surprising high-pitched note into her beautiful rendition. Coach Niall Horan instantly expressed his thoughts as she finished, insane, performances. Ms. Monet, she is a badass, this woman, the Irish pop singer was enthusiastic. Everything you do is just so tasteful, cool, hit with just perfection. Gwen Stefani explained, Ms. Monet, I'm just wondering who's gonna massage your feet after that performance, because, you were leaping out of your shoes, Stefani added. To be able to be that captivating, it was really, really well done. Alt hog Gwen Stefani leaned toward Ruby and suggested Lee as the winner of the round. John Legend was not far behind to put his thoughts, Ms. Monet, you've always been excellent, but this was like a tour de force, he further explained. How can someone sing this well and do all the things that they're doing? Beyonce can do it, a few people can do it, but not very many. Flawless. Finally, it was Reba McIntyre to express her thoughts before announcing the winner of the knockout. You three ladies were all so incredible, she further explained, all of the things that you did on stage were tasteful, McIntyre declared. <laughs> that whistle notes, you did it and you just went on and completely slayed us all. Unfortunately for Ms. Monet, McIntyre has no save remaining, as she announced Ruby Lee winner of this knockout round. Horan declared after the knockout that he would definitely have stolen the powerhouse singer Ms. Monet if he had a steal, noting, he admitted, every single time she comes out here, she puts on ridiculous vocal performances. Reba McIntyre admitted her wish, I just wish there was some way we could keep em all, at least bring them back. It's just so hard to send them home. But later the incredible new feature Super Save was introduced to give the coaches power to save the eliminated singers during knockout. Each coach has one Super Save power. For singers who receive the Super Save after elimination from knockout. John Legend saves us on. By using his super save power, Azan was originally from Team Legend stolen by Niall Horan after losing her battle against Taylor Deneen. Gwen Stefani saves Lennon Vanderdoes by using her super save power, who was originally from Team Niall Horan. Niall Horan saves Julia Room by using his super save power who was eliminated during knockout against Alexa Wildish and Lennon Vanderdoes. Reba McIntyre saves Ms. Monet by using her super save power from her own team who was eliminated during knockout. To know about further updates, who could make it to the live show after winning the playoffs, stay connected with FMTP TV channel. Reba, the time has come. Who is the winner of this knockout? Do you think your favorite artist made it through the knockout round for the playoffs? Comment, and don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe to the FMTP TV channel. Thank you for watching the video.